Check one two. Working. I got I got no coin. We'll do the toss. Yeah. You guys, let's, let's go. We'll do it down there, umpire. Who's the home team? Say, go next week. In the middle. Go in the middle. Just come in close. I don't care. Just next to Andrew, either side. Where did he go? G'day. Welcome back to the VCG for our second game. We've got the toss here. We've got Captain Andrew Mansali and Captain Josh Razu for the toss. Andrew will spin it. Josh will call. Heads it is. Ian. What are you doing, mate? Uh, batting. Batting. And uh, you got a new haircut for today? Yes, it's my birthday. All right. Happy birthday. And good luck. Sorry about the first game, mate. Bit of a tough one for you out there? Well, we thought we were going to go up. Balls everywhere. We thought it was going to be easy like the other day, but unfortunately it doesn't go away. So it's cricket's funny game. Yeah, you got another chance now, so you really need to win. You're none from two. You've got to get a win here today. To get in the finals, we have to win the game. So, brothers on. All right. All the best, Andrew. Thank you. Thanks, guys. So the Josh Razu for the Mighty Fate Panthers has won the toss, and uh, they'll be batting first. And I think that's a good call. It'll be tough uh, batting second in these conditions as it was the other day. So we'll be back with the action in around about 15 minutes for the last game today in the Vanuatu, the Betbara Vanuatu Blast. See you soon.
Afternoon guys, we're ready for the second game here. We had the mighty Afate Panthers win the toss. They've chose to bat Joshua Raz, who a little bit of flu this afternoon. Uh, not coronavirus, because we're coronavirus free in Vanuatu. Uh, and he wants to make a statement here. And we've got the Meli Tafia Bulls captain, Andrew Mensali, going to take the ball. And the breeze has really picked up in the last 30 minutes. The Banana Bay Doctor and uh, Meli Tafia Bulls will want to win. They're none from two now. This is a key game for them. It is. Razu got the <coughs> flu, but he's got a new haircut, which I'm quite jealous of. <laughs> well, if you're going to do it, you might as well do it in style. Uh, and they've probably got their best fielder back at mid on, and we've got a deep square or a forward of deep square. Um, yeah, a bit of patience here by Razu. He showed the other day he wants to go after the bowling. Here we go, Mansali in. Back of a length, pushes in front of point, and there's even no run there. A little bit of a miss hit. It's good on the cart. That's, he likes to play the spinners through the offsides. Give himself a bit of room if possible. He's really <coughs> trying to... Up, play bowls. Just taps it too short. Fine leg for a single. And we've got Big Laz Carlo on. And big Laz Carlo at the oh, non-strikers. And he will not want to run too many quick singles. He's there for one reason. He'll be going downtown. That's where he's going to go. Yeah, once again, he's spin. We talked about the other day. He's, he's not great against spin. <coughs> Look, they had, two, they had two games on Thursday and he failed both times. So he, he's there for the pinch hitter. He's not here to bat 10 overs. He's there to make yes. a big score, big dent in, in the total to start with. So let's see what he does here. So he'll be definitely keen to get amongst the runs here. Put his name up again for the selectors as Mansali bowls. Toss it up. He's gone. He's here straight to mid off. And he's out first ball. And that is a replay of, of the first game. And he didn't cross either. And get and Razu on cross. Right, which is Cardinal said a bit of a coach killer, that one. <clears throat> well, the experiment with Laz Carlo is, is opening the batting has failed three from three now. I think they need to rethink that. And I'm, I think think he's happy to go down the order as well. Yeah, the rumours have it that he's been asked to go down the order. They've pushed him out or rolled him out to open. And he hasn't he hasn't looked comfortable. Is it cricket's a confident game, but you gotta give yourself a chance. <laughs> nice a chance. chance. <laughs> <laughs> Launch one over mid off first ball. Yeah, yeah. You're, you are allowed to hit the ball on the <coughs> ground sometimes. Yeah. And we've got Jared Aaron, Allen coming in. Um, he was a key for him the other day. Very good cricket awareness. Wicket keeper for him. Got 11 off 10. Was a good partnership with Razu last week and really set up on Thursday. I should say really set up their 128 off 10 overs. Look, I think these guys are going to go for 100. They will have to, they'll be looking for more than 100 because the Melly Tafia Bulls will be primed. Yeah. They've missed out a couple of times at the bat. They'll be really super keen to go here. So but Jared Allen... On strike, he punch. As I said the other day, he punches hard. Oh, has, it, has it pitched in line or has it pitched do, do outside need, leg? Do you need to see it again? It pitches outside leg. Well, if it's pitched him outside leg. leg. And he's been giving him out. And Jared Allen, a key guy, has gone. And they've gone two for one in the first over. Yeah, I think it just pitched outside leg. I don't think the camera's directly behind the umpire's head. But pretty average decision, I think, there from <clears> Greg <throat> Walton. And I guess there's two guys we want to see. We've got Wes... Vera Lulu coming in and Joshua Razu. Look, these guys just, it's 10 overs. It's short game, but they still need to take their time a little bit here. It's don't, don't <laughs> two, 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 one two for off one. Three. <laughs> Balls. <laughs> <laughs> Not too dissimilar to the last last game either. Well, I, and I'll, after the two wins, though, the mighty Fate Panthers, I'll continue that story in a second as Mansali's about the ball to Vera Lulu. He's punched her hard. He's such a strong cricketer. Now, I think that I'll tell the story after the over. Um, but there's a yeah, big partnership, as you say. And then the hole. But batting second will be tougher. It's going to be slow wicket. Man, Sally in again. Oh, he's falling over his crease. And Rachel Andrew gives it not out. Good bit of work. Behind the sticks by Clement Tommy. 
And that's the end of the first over, and they are two for one, and in a little bit of trouble, the mighty Afade Panthers, but they've got the two guys at, at the crease that they want at the crease. Yeah, no, there was... After a couple of beers went down on Thursday, the mighty Afade Panthers were already talking about where they're, they're going to spend the um, winning prize money. Prize money. <clears throat> They're already putting it on the bar, on the bar of the saloon and what they're going to do with it after just two wins. So maybe they've got a bit far ahead of themselves there, Damo. Well, there's a bit to go left in this bet barter competition. The, the guys can't get ahead of themselves. And this pitch changes each time, hey? It's it's um, it's not as dry today, so it's not going to turn as much here. They need It's stuck in the wicket a little bit in the first game. We've got a new bowler on here. Haven't seen him in the tournament, which is number four. Uh, we haven't got their names here. Let's see if I can find an old score sheet. I'm not sure who the bowler is. He just turns it <clears throat> around the leg side, fine legs up. And they get an easy single. Yes, it is Marcel coming in from the Bellevue. Bellevue Hill bet barter end. Thank you. As he's in the bowl to Vera Lelulu, he just punches it. Great bit of fielding at mid wicket by Andrew Mansal. He stops the single. Marcel is the bowler about to come in and bowl. Yeah, interesting tactics here. You've got Patrick Matatava in the team and you've gone for the lesser experienced Marcel here. So a, a clear tactic. I'm not sure what the tactic is. Keeping him, yeah, I'll we'll go for the third <clears throat> wicket, try to get Razu early. Razu nice looking in. shot from Wesley Vera. I'll oh, go as Wesley Vera, but he's, he's proper that. Yeah. Here we go, we've got the deep square, and we've also got a uh, deep mid on. Marcel coming in again here for the fourth delivery. Second game, a lot of pressure here for, the, for Melly Tafia Bulls and the Bet Barter. Vanuatu blast. Here he comes, gets into the crease, hits it hard. Oh, he's, he's punching that well, isn't he? Yeah. I is like the way he's timing the ball. He's hit looking really good with the bat. I know he hasn't scored any runs there, and I hope that doesn't play with his mind and he gets a bit frustrated and tries a, a shot, but he's actually standing up on that ball and punching it through the offside. Yeah, we've got great dot, technique. We've gone dot, dot, dot. It looks like he wants a bit more pace on the ball. Maybe. He, Here we go, Marcel in again. Three dot boys. He's punched it straight over the balls. That's yeah. a great looking shot for four. Fantastic cricket from the young fella. So he's always been the team as a bowler. Word. Simon Keane, the national coach, has been trying to develop him as a genuine all-rounder. He's definitely got the capabilities to do that. He's only 20 years old. Bowls a heavy ball, good hands. And yeah, very much in the... Reminds me a bit of a Freddie Flintoff style player. Well, let's hope he not Punchy panic. hits the ball hard. Let's hope he doesn't panic. In the Mighty Afar Day's total 120 up there, he took 26 of eight deliveries. So he's the hot player. He's in form, hitting the ball well, as we can see. What's he got here now for us? He's chipped it short. He's, oh, there could be a run out. The run to the right and... And bit I of think he's... communication. Oh, well, there yeah. could be an injury here. He's down. <laughs> I think he's twisted an... Ankle, possibly. Yeah, oh, I think he'll walk that one out. He's pretty tough. We're going for five off that over. We're two for six after two overs here. That was a great shot over the bowler's head, though, wasn't it? That yeah, really. His key bowler will be Eddie Mansell if Eddie comes on. He took Eddie for four, six, six, four the other day. He just needs to play his innings, wait for that bowler to come in. Yeah, Eddie bowls, as I said the other day, bowls slot balls that you can really <clears> punish. Just got a launch on the front foot. And the breeze really picking up here. If you're behind the bowler's arm, it's from right to left, diagonally from mid wicket through to third man there. So we've got another bowling change. Don't know who this is either. Can't see the, the number. Number five. Number five should be Nano Chilia. Out of the Chile, Rave Chilia. Batting line. Should be oh, Nano Chilia straight Chilea. out of the Rave, the Rave Chilia School of Bowling. Medium pace looking at his run up here. We've got Clement Tommy up at the stumps, which is good to see. We've got mid-wicket, uh, deep square, and deep mid-on back. 
I think if he's a bit slow, he should be a bit straighter, these fielders. Nano comes in. Oh, sure, that's got to be punished. <clears throat> he's hit it to the fielder. You want to come back for two, but he doesn't. That's a good decision because he would have been out. I'm a little bit perplexed by the bowling lineup here. We've got Eddie Mansali, who I said wasn't the greatest bowler. He took a couple of wickets in the last game. We've got Patrick Mataltava, the superstar bowler. They obviously want to leave him for the death, but I don't know why. If, if Razu gets away on you, he can hit, put anyone over the fence. <clears throat> Nano Chile into Wesley Viralu through the crease. And he's hit it square. He's hit it straight to mid wicket, which is a big gap there. So they should get back for an easy two here. There's a great bit of fielding on the boundary there by Patrick Matatava. You too, when he picks the ball up, it's a different ball game. Yeah, he's <laughs> extremely one handed. And look, our, our field's a little bit deceiving. It's full of crab holes. And these guys are expert fielders on this pretty rough surface here. But it looks nice and lush this afternoon. It's been a bit of work trying to get that <clears throat> fixed, Damo. Um, I think we put a. No crab sign up there, and the crabs have read it, and they've left it for the last few, last about six months. So uh, thanks, crabs, for staying away from us. As Nano See. comes in the bowl again to Vera, and he smacked that square of the wicket. 4-4. Four, four. He's on four. I actually really like the way that Wes has just stood up there and just smacked it just behind the square. There was a huge big gap there. Inexperienced here, I see the captain going over to Chile now to have a quick chat to him. I'm not sure he was asking. You would want him to be a bit straighter and a bit fuller to bring those fielders into play, I would think. Yeah. A little bit surprised of the tactics that they've... In the power play, we want to... The power play's been getting wickets. Has it released the pressure a bit? <clears throat> oh, most definitely. We've got six off the first two overs and we've gone for seven off this over so far. We'll, I think we've let them off the hook. Nano in again, pitched up ball, he punches it in front of point there, it's gone straight to the fielder, not a bad stop there. So he's um, punching that ball well like that, yeah, he's standing really, up and... Really like his backswing, wow. punching it hard, ominous times here. Yeah, he's a future, future superstar, that's for sure. Uh, in the Bet Barter Blast, he is the boy to watch. In the Player of the Series award, Bet Barter Player of the Series, he'll be right in the mix of that after the first game of the Man of the Match performance. He's in the bowl again, and Razu's working behind square. That's four more. And this tactic, I tried to hit maybe two <clears> overs <throat> out of the two part-timers early. Well, I don't know why you do it in the power play. But the ball's yeah. a little bit short of Razu. Just didn't hit it the best. He's just dragged it down, pulled it behind square, but third uh, short fine leg was no hope there. Yeah, you want to give your young bowlers <clears> a <throat> chance for some fielders back, maybe the fourth and the fifth over, but the yeah. bowl... In the sec, you've got two wickets in the first over, then the bowl two part-timers. I think we've seen spin's a big key. I think you're, sp you're bowling spin in those first three overs, power play, and then you're, you're getting rid of your pace well, bowlers. They will have William, Na William Singh Nalissa back for the next game as Nonu's in the bowl again. That's short again. He's hit it as one bounce to the fielder out of deep square. And they get the single. He missed out there. He really could have hit that over a bit more forward or towards mid-wicket, and it would have been an easy boundary. Well, we're, we're spent a couple of overs there. Yeah, we're going 13 off that over, and we're taking two for 19. And not a bad start. Oh, look, Razu was a little bit disappointed in that, but I think because he did miss hit a little bit, it probably saved him from getting out into the wind there, yeah. holding out on yeah, the boundary. That's a good shout. If he hit that well, he could have really held out at deep square. So who are they bowling again? They're going back Come to Marcel. Marcel again. Maybe Eddie Mansali's pulled a gasket. Yeah, and can't bowl. <laughs> and the interchange. Look, Marcel bowled uh, dot wick, uh, one run dot dot dot. Then he's gone for four over his head by uh, Wesley Verulu. But the fielders can be back now. But I think this will be someone that Wes will want to target. <clears throat> I'm not sure about this field. They've got a third man back on the boundary, but Razu's had a look there. He can do a. A scoop, but I don't know if his pace is on enough for that. No, he's just got to stand and bat. Oh, he missed a big opportunity. There's no sweeper on the offside, <clears throat> and that was in the zone. Maybe to just smack it through the offside. Yeah. So there's there's only we've got five five four back on the leg side and a long off. So from cover all the way to third man, there is no sweeper. So a little bit of width. He can really smack it. Get anything through the field on the offside will be four. Well, you've seen what Wes has done with his first couple of punches there. If he finds his gap, it'll be a boundary. Nano in on stump oh, line. He's hit it over he's... the commentary box for six. Straight over his head. That's a great shot. 
just down in front of us. Oh, look, that was the Melly Flick classic there. He's just picked it up and flicked he it. Has, he has. Kind of well. And uh, this experiment with these other bowlers hasn't worked. So they've gone with a couple of the young melee boys to bowl, and they could have probably tried to, if they wanted to keep Patrick for the end, they could have probably got Wartu in with his pace early on. He's gone the melee flick again. That's, That's another a six. six. over to the Holiday Inn tent. Right Land into the, the Holiday the Inn hospitality tent there. If it didn't That's hit the top of that tent, it was going to be on my next burger. And that's a great shot. And this experiment by the Melly Taffy Bulls is just not working. Well, not at all. So it's really backfired. You've got Godfrey, you've got Wart, Darren War 2. Big Darren War 2, the new ball downhill, mm. down Breeze, would have been the option last over, I would have thought. But the two young Melee boys from the Melee Bulls club, half of the Taffy, Melee Taffia combined team, as he comes in the bowl again. He's gone he's again, six. On the ground. That's a big and hit. And that's hit. gone the journey. That's three Straight in a row. Straight over the Bet Barter sign there. Down at mid off. Uh, mid on, sorry. And he's gone six, one, six, six, six. Here's the hot player. He, the other day he batted at 325%. Took 26 off eight. Today he's just gone six, six, six. We, he's we, hit another boundary. We call him the big bopper because <clears> he can bop him big and he's living up to that reputation. Finally. And that's some fantastic hitting. What I'm really impressed with, he's stood up and it's been nice cricket shots. Yeah. You talk about that high backswing. Beautiful, the high back swing hits straight through the line of the ball. He's in the bowl again. Will he get the last laugh and get him out? He's gone six again. That's out of here. That's 90, 100 metres back. And that will take some fetching. That's a huge over. He didn't uh, He didn't look to change the pace once or anything. He just kept bowling in that same spot, didn't he? Yeah, well, he certainly has. And Wes has just taken full advantage of that. And where he's hit it is where there was six foot grass two days ago. And thank God they've cleaned it because it's gone another 30 metres back. And the boys will be back in a few minutes once they pick that up. And he's gone six, 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 six. This is the bet better Vanuatu blast. And Vera is blasting them. Yes, the CEO was down there <coughs> with the whipper slipper himself yesterday cutting that grass <laughs> demo. So <laughs> I didn't want to lose any more balls at eighty dollars a ball. Yeah. <laughs> I was making sure we got all them back this week. Look, I don't want to see Wes get out of here, but if it's in the slot, why doesn't he just hit it oh, again? He's hit four in a row. And they're good cricket shots. Is he gonna go again? Chile are in again. Outside, off, he's dragged at the leg side. There'll only be a single out of Andrew Mansali. And they've block end each with a single. And four sixes in the middle. And we've gone for 26 off that over. And we are 45 for two after four. And that's some serious <coughs> ball striking there from Wesley. And uh, that's fantastic to see. That's a great standard. The boy, they're on fire. They were spending their winning bonus already, or their winning prize yeah. money already. And if he... If he has a tournament like he started off, well, they're going to be favourites now. Yeah, well, the mighty Fado Panthers, they scored 128 the other day, and they had a shared responsibility. Razu went at 220. Wesley was batting at 325. We had Obed and Maki are still to come in, batting in the high 170s. The strike rates are huge here. And have we got Godfrey coming in, or we got Watu? Which one is he? We're down on Watu, Watu. and Patrick Mazatava hasn't bowled the ball yet. Are they... I don't know why you're trying to keep him for the death when the when the boys are just taking 26 off and over. He's got to come on and break this partnership, surely. Well, Watu might be the man to do it. Steam's in. He's Out hit there. a backward point. It's going down to Eddie Mansali. He's gone to soccer. Stop. Eddie and Mansali, the, the mid-40-year-old, and he just showed it there, did the old West Indian boot out, didn't really want to get horizontal for that and one. The and bowler it's... is not happy at all with that. He's ropeable. But Wes, good Wes, it's another good shot. He's he's timed it again, picked the yeah. gap behind point. He's used Watu's extra pace to hit down mm. Breeze, and that's smart cricket. If you can keep batting like this, you also probably get into the leading run scorer stakes. As Watu comes steaming and he'll bowl back four. He's smoked it down the long on to Patrick Motatava, just takes a single. It's an angry throw. This could be an overthrow. Oh, the keeper's got it. I was speaking to Patrick in between the innings there, and he was a little bit disappointed he wasn't brought on to bowl earlier in the last game. So I think there's a little bit of anger in that throw, you can see. Yes. Well, it's... Well, what's game, what's really game on here now. What's Joshua Razu do here? He, he is a big striker of the ball, but he's got Wes at the other end who's just dominating. Does he just pick the gap and wait for that bad ball? Uh, I think he does. He's just, just back normal. It's a big breeze. It's kicked up now. Uh, he's used his feet. He's got a nick. And that's four more, I reckon. And he's got to get the soccer boot out again. He's not quick enough. And that's <laughs> another four. 
And the mighty Ifate Panthers are on absolute fire here in the Bet Barter Vanuatu Blast. Yeah, a bit of luck outside edge. I don't think he needs to come down the pitch. We saw that a lot in the first game. But he's got the outside edge gone down to the boundary in front of the Vanuatu Water sign there. It's collected it. And he's, Eddie had an easy pickup. And look, Eddie probably won't be bowling with this, but he looks a bit stiff down there. Maybe he's pulled up a little bit of an injury in the first game. Watch him again right. from the lagoon. And full toss, and he's That's hitting great in front. cover, cover drive. A... He's going to do well to beat the fielder. He's got a cameraman. Can't be standing that close. Lucky there's no injuries there. Marcel's everyone a, smiling. Yeah, taking the legs first dive. Billy Slater style, and he's taking out our cameraman who's a little bit lazy down there. Didn't move. He's got the bongo chips. Uh, and now we've got... <laughs> <laughs> the bongo chips are in favour of the Venomata people. Well, now, we, now we've got uh, Razu. It's gone 4-4. Four, four. You don't want to give him a chance to get his eye in. Mate, uh, this is... I'm love, loving watching this fantastic batting by these guys. He's used his feet. And he's probably outsmarted himself. Took the pace off there. It's probably the first pace off ball I've seen. And that's the first dot ball in three overs. These, this partnership wow. is really getting away from these guys here. Melly Tafia Bulls need to do something here. Watch who one delivery left here. What can he do here? I don't think oh, he's Josh too Russ. late. They're, they're, they've had him too far. They've dipped three overs a part time in the middle and having the team two, two down. Yeah, watch who win again from the goon end. Oh, that's <laughs> lost Russ. his head a bit there, Razu. That's okay. They're right on top. I guess why wouldn't you just keep the foot down on the gas and keep pushing? But hitting into the breeze. But now it's a big over here. Who, who do you bowl? Well, Matatava's on. Yeah, I think. And I reckon Wesley's going to try to take him down. Well, it's, I think he should. It's the, it's Wesley's the future all rounder. Patrick's the incumbent number one all rounder in the Vanuatu squad. So it's the apprentice versus the master here. So this is what we want to see. Definitely. Well, he's going to get some good delivery. So Wes just needs to wait his time and hit that bad ball. Uh, he'll be looking for a pitched up ball here. Uh, Patrick, I probably think Patrick could probably bang it in. He would go the effort ball. He might even do the off pace ball in, in the middle of the over. But I think the first one, he'll probably, do you think you'll see if there's a bit of swing there for him? I know it's the sixth over. And we're two for 58 after five. It's a great he's got to be bowling. partnership here. He's got to be bowling defensive style bowling. He comes in the bowl. He's gone full, wrapped on the pads, looks like he's missing legs, so he's going to just have to jam it up on the stumps. But there, he's under the pump, so he's got. A, he's a big match player, and he's turned many a game on his head single-handedly. So he's got two overs to bowl here, Patrick, and he's got ten, in, ten overs to bat. It's got to be his show from now on in for Mele Tafia to be a chance for this. He comes in the bowl. Inside edge. They will push for two here. No, I think they'll get it. That's Should great it running. Easy. Very good running That's there. That's great running. A little inside edge through the legs, and they get pick <clears> up a two, and it's good urgency. A good running by the boys there. Look, look this is a danger bowler for the uh, mighty Afado Panthers. They, I think they just need to, without having high risk, they just need to play the percentage shots here, get through this over, and then they're going to dominate for three out of the next four. I don't, I don't think they're thinking that. I think they want to take it. They want a piece of him. Slow ball, and he's swung himself right. off his feet. And that would just be a single. Yeah, if you know, There's a bit of banter training for the week. I think the, the boys want to get a piece of him, <laughs> take him downtown and let him know about it. That's, oh. for, that's for sure and certain. Always someone wants to take the old dog down, don't they? They do. And here we are. So it's the apprentice all around a young Wesley Fuhrer against the master, Patrick Matataba. And I reckon he wants a piece of him over wide long on here. I can do Matal Tava comes in. Down leg, leg side, side and it's going to be called a wide. It's a great take by the keeper, Clement Very Tommy. Very nice take by him. But so he's, he's, he was getting some beautiful shape the first innings. Why wouldn't you give him that new ball again, at least a second over? Happy to have spin first over. Yeah, I but agree. But second over. Yeah. Or third over. Yep, here so we go. Matal got... Tava in from the Bet Barter Bellevue. He'll end. Bounce Short up. of a length. Oh, and he didn't pick that at all. Yeah, he, was a, and he's... he was a bit late on that. And Patrick's laughing and giggling at him there. I'm sure <laughs> Wesley's flashing a pearly whites back at him. And uh, they'll be on for young and old. But geez, he struck the ball well. It's very, he does remind me of Flintoff. Just sort of put that front foot down here. A nice straight back through the line of the balls. Patrick's in again. Slow ball. He's hit it. It's gone mid wicket. That's six. 15 metres over the boundary. That's a nice six. That's what he was waiting for. Sitting back in the crease. Just a little bit this over. Yep. 
Not the slow ball, it was knee high, it was a give me hitting down breeze with the banana bait doctor. And he just put it over mid wicket for a lovely six. Lovely six, and we're two for 69 off six overs, or we 68, maybe I've counted that wrong. It's a fantastic display here from young Wesley Bureau. He's, he's looked the goods. I uh, had to miss the wide delivery, one more left here. Short ball again. That's wide down again. The side. That's wide again. I tell you what, that decision to give Jared Allen out was probably the best thing in there. <laughs> best thing <laughs> the for the mighty found those sitting sure. back there now, thinking that was a good thing. I'm sure Jared Allen wasn't too happy about getting the LBW, but uh, it's brought Wesley, and he's coming out and absolutely blasted it. Well, he's taken off where he's where he finished on Thursday. Yes. What is he is the Vanuatu last bet barter hot player at the moment. He's indeed. Here he is again now, facing Matau Tava. It's a short ball. Well, it could be two for the over there. I would have thought. And we finish with a dot there. Two short ones for the over. He got away with it. Off and that's 12, 12 runs to the over. It takes us through for two for 70 off six. And this is looking ominous again. That's going to be chasing well into the one. While well, these two guys are here, how much could they get? Oh, yeah. How many overs we got left? Sorry. We're, we're six overs down. A one over a spin. who has got two wickets for one run. He has a bold spin again. Yeah, this will be interesting what his bowler does here now. He's oh, got, got two again. Got Darren Wartu's. Uh, Godfrey's not look like going to have to bowl. Andrew will have one more. Patrick's got one more. So I don't know whether they, Mr. They Mash their bowlers last, a bit here, need, mate. They um, need one over from somewhere. Look, the guys have got their eyes in. This will be going big time. I think this will be a 20-plus over from these guys. They'll like this extra pace on. I think Watu would need to change his pace up here or he will go for 20 off this over. Mid wicket's up. That's the shot. I smashed that over long off for four. That's a fantastic cricket shot. Give himself a bit of room. Mid off is up in the ring, and he's just put him over mid off beautifully. Really like that shot. That's, he's yeah, he's made a, a statement in that first delivery. That's a great cricket shot, all around cricket shot. But they've got the momentum, and the Melee Tafia Bulls gave them the momentum by bowling their part timers as we watch the replay. Just shimmied a bit off, so I had the room. Oh, had the Beautiful room. bat swing straight through the line over mid off. Oh, he must have had a good coach over the last few years. I'll give you a tip. Here we go. Watch who coming in again from Lagoon End. Back of a oh, length. Oh, oh kept oh, a little a bit low. Oh, took the pace and off. Wes is going to get through for a single here. And again, he hasn't slid his bat. But they're going to get through for a single. He's home and hose, mate. Wasn't getting run out there. Well, he's probably home and hose. I don't know if I like the tap and go. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the credit card tap and go. Uh, what are these guys having to talk about now? A quick chat between the two here. Look, I think this is an over there. We're looking to looking to go hard, uh, and why shouldn't Wes? He's gone six 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 and a couple of fours, and he'll like this pace on. So let's see what who what he's got. This will test his death bowling here. What to in Lagoon End, outside off, big swing straight to long on, and that's how you hit it into the Banana Bay Doctor at your peril. That's disappointing. Oh, I really wanted him to see, watch him bat the overs out and. Uh, Take him on from the other end again. Well, yeah, well, that was the key. He hit all the sixes from the other end with the wind. Not that he needed the wind. If he hits it clean at six on any ground, but he's holed out. You've got your best fielder down there. He doesn't drop him. I say the wind has kicked up in the last 15 minutes. The Banana Bay Doctors <clears throat> definitely in the house for a house call now. Yeah, and we've got Simpson Obed walking into the crease now. Simpson played a bit of a cameo the other day. He took 21 off 11 in Thursday afternoon's game. So he's hitting him quite well. I saw him in the nets before, hitting him well again. So he'll be keen. He's at the non-strikers to start with. Um, look, I, I think Mighty Afade Panthers have got the foot on the throat. They don't want to be giving giving him a chance to get back in this game. As, um, Watsu comes in the Razu. You don't want to lose two in a row here. And he's lost maybe two balls. That's another one over mid-off. Slow ball. Didn't Slow use ball. the facilities. Six. Knee high. We didn't hit it that well, and it still carried the 70-something metres back there. You don't want to give Razu an opportunity here. He's 33 or 15 the other day, and he's doing it again today. He's 31 already, not out. Three overs to go. It's been the thing with this team. One gets out, and the other one takes up the, the running, haven't they? Just so dominate. they've worked well as a team. But I like him just hitting offside. Not many guys have been hitting offside this tournament, and Razu's played two beautiful over mid off for six. The boys got another one. They've kept it off up again. They haven't changed the field at all, and that's four. Now what? Yeah. He's, he's hit a couple over mid off for six. We've got fine leg back. Now we've got fine leg on the circle. We've got third man got back. Third man back. Well, he hasn't he hasn't mis hit a shot yet. I, you would haven't. You got cover or a wide. There's fine legs back down there, Domo. 
Well, he is it actually is it? Five leg's got to come up in the ring and mid off's got to go back. I don't understand the tactics here. But he's hit him over mid off three times now. And they changed they haven't the field. changed the field. And the bowl has sort of been forced to go up the stumps, and he's he done a wide down leg side. Mm. Pressure really on here. Do you think he's struggling with the breeze here? He can't bowl his normal line because he's got no protection that long off. No protection there, yeah. So he's trying to go leg side, leg stump, block him up a bit, give him no room to free his arms, and he's given a wide away. You know, watch who went again. Oh, it's just out, it's a bit of a slow ball. It's just did a little bit off the pitch there, and it's just beaten Razo. He's a little bit disappointed. He I know he shouldn't be disappointed with that. Oh, he's the groundsman. He can't be disappointed <laughs> at his own work, can he? <laughs> <laughs> He's got no one else to blame. I think he just rolled the fingers across that a bit there. I got a 16 off the over, but we see the live streaming score is 88, so I'll go with the 88 there. And we are three down, three overs to go. Three for 88, three overs to go. And look, let's see if these guys, the mighty of Farday Panthers, can beat their 128 they got here on Thursday afternoon. And who have we got? Our man Sally's going to have a change of ends. He's bowling off spin. And the batsman will be hitting with the spin. I know Simpson Obed will want to go over cover is probably his favoured area. If bowl off spin man hitting with the dock, that's a huge, huge Advantage. risk. If, he's just got to get Razu on strike here. Razu could hit him for three or four sixes here. Yeah. He's got to get the, he's got to get Razu on strike. That's got to be he's only his number one ploy here, and he's done that. He's gone to Patrick. I don't know why Patrick is fielding at backward point there. He's not going to get many opportunities to do anything. The hot spots here is deep mid wicket. Yeah, and you've again. got you've got young Philip at mid wicket. You've only got two guys in front of square on the leg side. And he's bowling off easy into the hitting with the doctor. It's the second game. They're only playing. It's only thirty overs in, and they're and they're a little bit lazy in the there field. There he's gone. He's in exactly what we said. Straight over, long on, wide long on. And that's where he's going to target. He, it's, you don't want to bowl off spin from this side. It's No, I think it's a mistake. It's he's really he's tough. Messed, he's messed up his bowling lineup here, I think, dramatically this afternoon. Razu, captain of the Mighty Fado Panthers, he wants to bat this 10 overs and he wants to go big. He'll hopefully bring up his 50 in this over with another yeah. two shots. You don't need two behind square on the offside. One of those guys can go the deep. You need two deep mid wickets on the leg side and you can bring point up. He's not going to cut anything. He's going to hit everything leg side here. Mansali in again. He does again. You, you, you want to push for two there. Because Simo Simpson's not going to hit the big shot unless he gets the full toss. He's a bit more over cover. So he's just going to get Razu on strike again. And then Razu will try to take him down. But, yeah, it's a tough, tough gig bowling off his from this end. Yeah, I'm not sure what he was thinking here. We go Mansali in again. Bowling outside off stump, which gives Simpson probably his favourite area. He's just punched in front of or in, into covers there. And he's got an easy single. So the coach now would offer you on hitting with the breeze. It's a fr you tell your player it's a free hit. If he gets out, well, you clap him off and say, well, hey, yeah. nice try, but yeah. he's got to go. He's you got to try. Over game, you have to go. He's got to yeah. try to hit every ball for six here. That would be the coach captain's message going out for sure. He's changed over the wicket. And there he goes. He's, he's straight down the ground. And has he got enough of it? He has, and that's six. And it's just landed just in front of the Bet Barter sign there, and it's done six. Well, he's changed his line to over the wicket, which probably favours Razu. He'd rather hit down the ground than the mid wicket. Yeah, so <clears> you're bowling off his this end. It's a, the batsman's just going to say every ball's a free hit, and that's yep. what exactly what he's doing. Well, I don't know that he hit it that well, but he's still. Well, that's the thing when you're hitting with, with a good backswing and a breeze behind you. Yeah, miss hit it. It's going to go for six. He's going to go again here. And he does, does. and he hits a, a better six. shot. That's bigger. That's in the trees. That's out of the ground, actually. No, it just hit the back fence. And he has done it with two shots. He's taken up his 50. That's well batted, Joshua Razu. Captain there. A little bit under the flu today. Yeah, but he's got, he said he got a new haircut. And that's going to be the secret. He's, uh, he's tossed that wire soft start. That's a great, great bat swing. Straight through the line. So I don't understand the, the tactics here, Damo. He's bowled off here from that end, hit him with the breeze. Patrick's bowled one over. He bowled three overs of part-timers, overs two, three, and four. When they were two for, two for one. Yeah, two for the one. First yep. And here we are. Joshua Razu brings up his 50. He's taken him through for 103 for 109 off eight overs. And this 128 looks like a small total I got the other day. This looks like it must be much bigger. And with the old dog, Eddie Mansali, coming on from the lagoon end. Uh, which it, which the boys won't mind either is flatter bowling, pace on flatter bowling, um, possibly 
slinging action. If he gets it outside off stump, these guys will oh, go yeah. and recover again. But they have got the protection back. They've got the field a little bit better this time. Uh, third man's up, fine legs up. We've got a deep square, deep mid wicket, deep mid on, and deep off. Well, Damo, when when Rosby gets on strike, I will bet my house he's going to scoop him. I see. Because he knows he's going to bowl full. It's a free hit. He's hitting, scooping yeah. down breeze with both third man and fine leg up. Well, I've called, going to get a little last lap. two times I've called Eddie Mansali. I said he's the old dog and he's taken two wickets in the first over. So here we go. Eddie Mansali trundles up there. He's giving yeah. himself plenty of room there. And he's just mishit it into the pitch, and he's going to sneak through for a single there. But there was two overs to go. He's he's a set batsman. He's going to smack him. Yeah, he's going to. I think the scoop, lap scoop, or over covers on. But I'm I'm backing the lap scoop. He loves getting it out. He's a very good exponent of it. But fine leg and third man up. And fine leg, short fine leg is really square. He's probably more like 45. He's got to bring him real square because he's. This is the lap. I'm backing it, Damo. I'm backing it in. Well, he's going to, you would think he'd be bowling at the stumps. Here we go. Mansali no, in. He's gone. He's just yeah. banged him out into the doctor for 12. That's out of there. Oh, and that's a drop catch by William Singh down on the boundary down there, or outside the boundary 20 metres. And that's a great hit into the breeze there. It's quite a strong breeze this afternoon. Mate, hey, this is a great batting performance. That too far, too far in the first over. That's two for one. What a ca comeback. Camera's out of focus there. Well, he's cleared that front leg. He's going to do one thing, isn't he? Clear striking as Eddie comes in again. He's under the pump. There is the scoop. He's got it too. That he's might go all the way. It. It should go all the way if no, there's one pace on. No, it hasn't gone. That's a oh, great bit of fielding. Who was fielding. that? With the hat on backwards. That's 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 a great that's a great bit of fielding because that's kept Rosu off strike. Well, one of the young fellas. That's well, as a Patrick Matthew Talva's younger brother. My goodness, one hand pick up. Very reminiscent <laughs> of you in the day, <laughs> not running back there, don't no, I? Never do anything like that. <laughs> Ah, oh, fantastic. Strike, striking. What's Simo? Simo can, Simpson can go over cover here. Give him sort. He's gone the reverse lap. And he's hit straight. Oh, behind the key. Well, he taking off the, I wasn't watching. Is he taking it off the back of the bat? And it's just gone to f short third, uh, short third fine man. leg. Short fine, fine leg. legs. Spit it out. Off the, yeah, <laughs> off the back of the bat. And, <laughs> and Simpson obed has gone four singles, but he's he's got the key man on strike. He has. This. But, mate, they're, they're looking in the 130s if Rosby bats the innings out. He's oh, flat batted it. it. Short of what Darren Ward to, they'll just take the single. And is that the last ball he kicked? Well, well, there could be an overthrow. No, no, there isn't. It's touch and go. We've got one more delivery to come here. We've gone 1-6-1-1-1. One, 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 one. Look, Simpson needs to hit a 2-4 and, and leave Razu on strike. Yeah, Razu. Well, second last over. You're going to go for the boundary, aren't you? Well, Razu's got to get the strike at this end. And so Simo, Simpson's got to either go big or... He might try to use the pace again. No, he's going over cover. No, he's only got the single, which has kept Razu off the strike. He'd be disappointed that Razu would be kicking himself that he couldn't get on strike this last over. Hitting with are, the doctor again. We are 120 after nine. I like this. And it goes to show singles count. We've got five singles and a six off that over. We're taking them for 11 and we're still making a huge total here. Great and, effort by the mighty Afadi yeah, Panthers who, and, who's going back to back, hopefully to back. And then um, we've got Patrick's on the bowl now. So it's wasted in the game. The, the game is way. He should have bowled the second over. He had to. He had down, to. When they're two, 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 two down. Two for one. Raz yeah. is out and they're not scoring 100. You really just let the... Pro I'll be interesting to understand why that tactic was brought out. But get Raz on strike. He'd love to have a piece of Patrick. But Patrick has good skills. He bowled the slow ball bouncer. He will use the slow ball bouncer a lot. He's got the Yorker. He's got a real good slow ball in general. So if he hits his area, it's going to be... It's going to be tough to hit. Matteo Tava in from the Bet Barter Bellevue end in. It's a little bit wide on off stump, and they've run through for a and bye. And they've done really, really well there. That was smart batting from Josh Rose. He knows how to get on strike. And Clement Tommy was not ready for that. Game awareness. He knew that Josh was dying to get on strike. Yep. And they had to do it. Yep. And here and we got a deep play. cover coming in with mid wicket going back. But with, with the pace of Matteo Tava. And the way Josh has Razu, it wouldn't matter if you put him in the grandstand. Ooh. They're not going to stop this, are they? Mid-off is up. Mattel Tarver in. It's outside off, and he smacked Smash it in front of cover, and that's four runs. That's a great shot. And that's taken him through into the 60s. Well, 66, is he? Scored half their score here. Well done, Joshua Razu. Captain's knock with a little bit of flu today and the bet barter. Big bash. Blast. Big blast. <laughs> 
and great supporters, Bet Barno. They'll be loving watching this action. This is a great standard of cricket here. We've got two of the best players in Vanuatu and associate cricket going head to head. Is Bolshaw and that's four more. No, there's a man there, but they've got to take him on. Razu is definitely coming back and he's had a little fumble. It's allowed Razu back on strike. Well, Razu's moved the way leg side. Mattel Tarvis chased him with the shorter ball there, knowing he wanted it pitched up, and he's dragged around behind square. And probably not the best fielding here by Marcel. He probably should have attacked that ball a little bit more. If he picks it up first grab, it's yeah, only a single. You, you had to realise that he was on the back foot. He was never come back for two if he picked it up clean. But this is a great stand of associate cricket around the world. This is what it's all about. As Mattel Tarva, Razu again, just shanked it, disappointed, and... He's probably run out of run out of breath. <laughs> well, he just wants to hit it. He's trying too hard now. He's just lost his shape a little bit there. Um, but yeah, Dame, a lot of the guys in India or Pakistan, Australia, New Zealand wouldn't see much associate cricket. And as you can see, these guys are it's a top quality cricket out there at the top moment. Top quality cricket. We we don't we've got a bit of a depth problem there with their bowling, and but our our top guys are as good as any in the associate level. Uh, yep. Ranked in the in the twenties in the world, the Vanuatu men's cricket team, the Holiday Inn cricket team. Here we got Matau Tava coming in, penultimate ball. He's oh. got Pato, they've got to run again, and the keepers missed again. But not his fault. Good running there. It just missed the stumps there. I'm nice. actually happy because I wanted to see Razu against Patrick again. I'm loving this contest. Yeah, this is got, brilliant to watch. Well, we've got the last delivery here, and let's look for the wind-up. What would you like to see him do? Do you want him to go back in the crease? Do you want him to stand there? Do you want him to come down the pitch? What oh, do you... I want him, yeah, just want him to get the weight on the back foot and try to smack it over the wide mid wicket. He's gone to the scoop, but fine leg's back, so he's, got, he's going to be run out of here. Oh, he's oh. missed it. They've got to come back for two. Oh, he's missed a little cheeky underarm from a man from two metres away. And that's, and that's a fantastic knock by Razu. And uh, 13 that off the over takes him through to 133 for three off 10 overs. And that's a great score led by Captain Joshua Razu and the Bet Barter. Vanuatu blast. That's a great blast off by, oh, well supported in the middle by Wes Virilulu. Oh, well. We'll, go. <laughs> well, Joshua scored all the runs, but. He really got going after Wes smacked Smack. it in the middle oh. of there. It really changed the game in that third over. They've gone from two for one off one over, two for six in the second over, and they've ended up 133. It's phenomenal batting. But the tactics, you know, you got three part-times that have not bowled a ball Today. in club cricket this year. So this is the first club cricket that the men have played. So those boys haven't bowled a ball in anger in club cricket, and you've thrown them in against Razu and Wesley. In the heat of battle, in the in the Bata Vanuatu blast, and they just released a pressure, and they they left an opening, and Wes went through it. Well, Melly Taffy always trying to bring in the younger players, but I don't know if today or this after, after you've lost the first game, I don't know if it's the time when you've got them two for one, you've just let them off the hook. Yeah, and like Godfrey hasn't probably bowled well, but he's in the national squad. He's a good as a fast bowler, and he, he he's a guy that gets wicked. He's a real competitive competitive cricketer. So I'm surprised by the tactics because I don't think they. I thought they bowled pretty well last game. And then he got. They only defended 60. Well, so I thought the bowling be... was okay. They're definitely missing another spinner. Yeah, definitely missing a spinner there. Look, Melly Tafia will have their work cut out here. They, well, they do have the hot players of Andrew Mansali coming off 75 from 38 on Thursday. Missed out this morning with a second ball. Patrick Matautava that got a second ball duck today. He's missed out with two ducks. He will be super primed to go here. And if those guys get going, 130 won't be enough. I tell you, beware of the wounded ball. Wounded Patrick ball. Matautava is the wounded ball. He hasn't got a wicket there. And coaching him for a number of years and playing cricket with him, he's an, he gets a very angry, angry man. And when he gets angry... Look out. So I think he's going to come out from ball one and try to hit everything out of the park. And he's a super competitor. That's what he's probably biggest. He's obviously got great skills and his uh, natural ability. But what people don't well, underestimate, I think, is his competitiveness. He is a super, super competitor. Super and at no wins, you need something special. And I hope he produces something and we come down to a last ball game, Damo. Yeah, let's hope so. But the mighty Fade Panthers, they re their tactics really on point on Thursday and they'll be super keen here. They'll have a matchup for each batsman that comes in. Oh, I might see if we can get a bit of insight and come back in 10 or 15 and we'll be underway for the second yep. innings. Well, I think I need a breather after that for a massive 10 overs to come and then 
We'll see you all back in about five minutes for the second innings and it'll be a great finish for the second day of the Bet Barter Vanuatu Blast coming live from the VCG in Vanuatu.
all going to happen in this next 45 minutes of cricket, Damo? Yeah, it's all on here. The pressure's on. They're going to be chasing 131 to win. And Pat. Chasing 131 to win. We've got a deep mid on and a deep mid wicket. They won't be big enough if he hits them. It's down leg side is wide and they're going to get a single here as well, man. Sally, oh, very fast. That's a great bit of work from Jared Allen behind the sticks. I'll tell you what, I would want to keep Paddy down because he'd be nervous on dark. Did he give that leg buys and keep him on zero? That was wide plus a, wide, plus was a buy. Yep. Oh, I'd want to keep Paddy down there for that first though. He's got out every time. It's just a mental thing. Yeah, definitely Harry would love the ball on, but good tactics by these guys. Simpson, I bet he's bowled every first over from this end. That's down leg side, it sweeps there, he's missed hit just behind the square, and that's just a single Andrew Mansali, and he opens his account as well. I'll tell you what, that is a bit of tension in the air, isn't there? Because the, the favourites, uh, the Melee Tafia Bulls, I'd say, for the competition, they'll get, could be none in three here. They could be, well, they might be the favourites, but they're under the pump right now. Sim Snowbed coming in, Lagoon end. It's outside right. leg, and he's hit it, and that's too big. It's over the Bet Barter sign there in the player's dugout, and that that's six. That is huge into the breeze. Into the breeze. That is massive. And that, I told you. Beware of the wounded bull. Well, he's gone duck, duck, and now he's gone a six. Beware of the wounded bull. If he bats for six overs, it's going to be, they'll be favourites. Because he's going to treat every ball for six. I mean, that's how he plays. Yeah, well, he's he goes, outside he, leg he here. Let's see, what, let's see what Simpson Obed does here. He's gone, oh, oh I don't understand that shot. He's given him. He's given him. I don't understand that shot at all. I'm actually devastated. I'm sure that is outside leg. I'm was, absolutely devastated. Is it off here? It's pitching in line, spinning in. Let's see the replay. Oh, there's no doubt about the replay. Right arm round. It's pitched. Oh, it's pitched outside leg. That's two he's given pitched outside leg. Oh, it's a square up, but I don't like it. I don't no, like it. We poor, could have, poor decision. Poor decision. We could have just wrecked a... 10-10 match with Patrick Matautava hitting a six and then I'm not sure why he's gone the reverse sweep. He should have sat back and tried to belt another one down the ground. I don't know why. He's got to give himself a chance. To play the, <clears throat> I've seen him play that shot numerous times and get out numerous times too. What's high risk? And he's not happy in the dugout there either. Well, I know it wasn't the best it wasn't the best umpire's call, but it wasn't the right shot to play either. You give yourself a chance. You give the umpire a chance to give you out when you play a shot like that. I, I like that shot, but you got to give. You got to get yeah. in. He's made two ducks, but just smack one through the offside or down the ground for a single. But if you, but if you play the shot and hit a boundary, you're not changing the field because we've only got you no, only allowed exactly. two out. So it's high risk for no reward. Simpson Obed coming in from Lagoon in. Great start from him. And that's out too. I reckon that one's out and he's given it not out. Uh, uh, no bat on there? Clement Tommy tries to sweep that one. No, it's leg buys. I think I think that's more out than the first one. Let's see if we can get a replay that on replay that one. Again. Same thing. I'd just like to see him straight bat it back down the on the ground and mid on to get and a that's Clement single. plays that shot a lot and he's been his down four. I just don't know. I wish I could see that replay, but that's all right. Here we go, the mighty Fade Panthers have got their tail up here. Simpson Obed coming in. He's got the outside edge here of Mansali and it's squeezed out behind point just for a single low. Yeah. And this is a great start. Well, when you take one of the openers out in the first over, it's a great start here. We've still got one delivery to go. Here we go, Clement Tommy here. Let's see what Clement wants to do here. Well, their run rate's yeah. 13 runs and over, so they're under pressure from the get-go. Comes down the pitch, outside edge. It's oh, safe, wow. though. It's gone through third man there, and they should get back for an easy two here. Man, Sally is a flyer between the wickets, but he's not even going to attempt to come back for a three, which is probably the wise decision. The emotion's got the better of them here. They've uh, come out. I know they, were, they needed to score 130. 13. You know, but as they saw from the first game, the first innings, they were two for one, two and they one. end up making 130. You've got to give yourself a little bit of a chance. Target a bowler. And Simpson's, Simpson Obed's got wickets yeah. in the first over every game. So he's yeah. probably got to go, well, you know, hitting into the breeze. It's not doing stupid. It's just give yourself a chance. The wicket gets a bit harder to bat on as the day goes on. Well, the mighty Afade, uh the Melly Tafia Bulls were probably favourites for the tournament. They're under pressure here. Andrew Mansali led them to 90-odd with a 75 off 38 the other day. He's going to need to do that and probably a little bit more to get them home today. Yeah, Clemens got to step up. He's played two awful shots. He's swept a full toss and missed it Look out from here. And then the next one, he's tried a massive hoik and he's top-edged it. 
Oh, with a few mishits, I would actually like to see spin from the other end. Yeah, they've got Razu. It's tough bowling off here with his breeze. I don't, I don't mind this because well, Patrick, if Patrick was batting, I'd bowl spin again. But make him make the game of it here. Andrew does flirt out soft stump. He, that's his strength, but he does nick early. Yeah, Wesley come in. He pushes forward just to the point there, and they've come through for an easy single. This is what Mansali did the other day. He just gave himself a few balls to find where he's at, but he can't let 10 overs. He no. can't let it get away. the game get away on him. Patrick... Probably could take a leaf out of that book. But I'll tell you what, they've got Silwyn hasn't bowled yet. Let's see, bowls some little left arm spin. He might have been an option at this end, I think, spinning away from the bat and making him hit against the spin into the breeze. Well, we saw what Yusuf yeah. Obed did in the first game. Here we go, Wesley coming in from the bet bar to Bellevue. He'll end outside off, and that's a great shot, but straight to a fielder. Yeah, it's a nice looking shot. He's a, not, he's a lovely looking player, Clement Tommy. I'd say the, his biggest his biggest issue is the the matter between his ears over the over time, and he's getting now in his twenties. He's not a young kid anymore. He's got to start stepping up, and this is a great opportunity for him to win a game for his team. Here we go, Wesley coming in again from Bellevue in quite a long run up. That's he comes down the pitch and he's That's hit it past stroke. Laz Carlo at cover, and that'll just go away to the boundary for a nice four, and that'll be a great confidence booster for Clement Tommy. He doesn't need to play something silly. He can play those good cricket shots. And hit the boundary. Hit the ball on the ground. It's on the road. The, the field got cut yesterday. It's not lightning, but it's quick. We've had a lot of dry weather. You know, that's just good contact. Well, the field's up. If you beat the field, it's going to be a boundary. Right. You, you're not going to chase it down. And then he did use his feet, but he just controlled it and hit it on the ground. Didn't try a massive hoik. Let's see what he does with the next ball. Yeah, okay, Wes coming in again. Slow ball, ball right well on, right outside the wide that's line well there. Bowled. That's well bowled. It, it, is a, it is a really good follow-up. And yeah. and one of our up-and-coming death bowlers, Wes, is. Really good to see he's come, come yeah. back with that. Well, what's been the advantage of having this hybrid pitch, Damo? The slow ball is a big advantage. You've got to use it. So it's made the bowlers really develop it. Playing on Siddiq, you don't get much value out of it. So yeah. here's Wes in the bowl again to Tommy. It's wide. Slow ball again. He's hit it. Oh, he's got a hand to it from the old fella, Selwyn. They're going for two. Because it's the other old fella, Carlo, picking up the ball. That, that's Carlo picking up the ball. And that's an easy two. Well, Mensali, very fit. Clement Tolly, very young and fit. There's, there's no reason why there shouldn't be two there. And if they want to win this game, they're going to score 131. They need to pick up those extra singles here and there in between the wickets, which they can do. Quite like Mansali, very poised to start with. I think he's going to go big here, and he's going to need to very, very soon or target a particular bowler. Wesley in, slow ball again, great shot down the ground. That's out of here. And that's, that's over the bet over bar to the... sign for six. And that that's is a great shot. Talk us through that one, Shane. Nice high back lift, yeah. follow through. He's got, he's got all the all the tools, all the gear. Sometimes no idea, but he's played some great shots there. You're right, the spin could have been an option. But Wes is the hot player. He's bowled the, he probably overused the slow ball, maybe. He bowled that three in a row, I reckon. Yeah, there. three in a row, and he put it on the slot outside off stump. But here we go, the Melly Taffy Bulls. They've gone 13 13. They are on the front rate. They just need to hold some wickets together, don't they? They do, yeah. Some good ball striking here and a lot of talent on display. And I hope, hope it's been a good um, exposure of what Associate Cricket has got for our other Associate brothers and around the, around the globe. Hope you're all watching and hope we're putting on a good show for representing our Associate. Yeah, and what, and what looks to be something that we can grow and be bigger and better. We've got Simpson Obed coming in from the Lagoon end. He's Man Stanley over. comes down. It's going down the pitch, and that'll be six again near the bat bar to sign. Ooh, just over, I think. Man Sally, a very good player of spin, so he won't mind Simpson coming on here. He's had a good look at him in the first over. He's got a couple of nice shots out of the boundary to the fielder. Uh, nice, nice shots out of the bat to the fielders. Um, he's gone six here. Look, to, look for Mansali to control this innings. What's Simpson got to do here? Where's his, what's his line here, Shane? Oh, he's got a little bit wider of off stump. And just see if he wants to take him over the offside or favour his leg side. That's and he's pitched bowling. it just outside leg there and he blocks it in there. And he's, he's hit a six off the first one. So they're tar going to target the start of the yeah. over, looks like Mansali. What, and, what Andrew Mansali does well, if you toss it up in that just step hit zone, he will step and hit you. He's got to be on that four metre length like that last ball. That's a yeah. little bit shorter than that's that. And he's been able to get on the back foot. And that's four more. And that's game on. Well, it was a bad delivery, but Mansali experienced, waited for the ball. And he's just 
probably turned a little bit more, whereas the less experienced here guys here today is probably trying yeah. to still hit that the mid wicket. But he had plenty of time. Not the best bowling by Simpson Obed this afternoon. Well, I think I think because he knows he can't toss it up there. He's got to hit that four meters area, that really good spin length. Well, if he's doing that outside leg line, he doesn't have much choice here. Here we go in again. That's a good length. He's probably hit six stump there. Mansali's hooked it around his one bounce into Selwyn at spine leg there, and he's just going to run through for a single. That's the length he can't get down to and can't play back to. That's that's where he's got to be. Because if he gets it either way, the way Andrew's form he's been in, he's going to punish you. So let's go. What's Clement? He played one ball, two balls off the spin, and looked an absolute shambles. Let's see how he goes this time. He's premeditated and... He hits a square just, just out of the field there. Who's going to come in and take it easy and take it one off the over. I was a bit worried about Clement there. They've already taken 11 off yeah. the over before that. I didn't want him to hole out. We've taken 12 off the over now. They're still on run rate here, so they don't need to do anything in silly. If it's a bad ball, Mansali will put it away. He'll be looking for a step hit again. He's tossed it. That's good length. That's good length. Wall bowled. Good That's fielding wall bowled. and good just running. It's not a bad over. Last over the power play, they're always going to go hard. And he's, I'll say he's just got away with it. J yeah, I think just got away. He's gone 13 the first over. We've got 13 off each over. 13, 13, 13. We're on the runway. It'll just be a matter of Mansali can control this and the pressure doesn't get to him. Mansali will like the, the field back. that He'll push it into the, to the inner circle and he will run too. He'll make Clement, Tommy, or whoever's at the other end with him run really, yeah. really hard. It's just if they've got enough firepower left to get him home to help Mansali because the other day he tried to farm the strike a little bit which just cost him cost yeah. him a little bit well if he's got Clement Tommy batting with him he doesn't have to do that as much so we've got Shem Salo who bowled really really well in one of the matches on Thursday um, used a slow ball real effectively I, I think you nearly I think you nearly set up for the slow ball here and the quicker one's not quick enough you can you can react to so I'd be setting up for the slow ball and, and if he like bowls a quicker one just get bat on it but do you like the captaincy of Razu here? Everyone's gone back on the circle. Everyone's gone back there. There's no one really forcing. They're just going to let Mansali make a mistake. There's no one really catching here. Yeah. Well, they need a sing they're not winning a single, so I think they're just trying to get him off strike. He's hit it to mid-wicket. It's a chance for a catch. That's oh, a great bit of fielding by McMillan Makia. Superb bit of fielding out there, and he's definitely stopped two runs. It's a great... I hope we get that on a replay. It's a great dive. He was horizontal, two hands to the ball, pushes it back inside. Here we go, slow ball. You picked it right there. He's shanked it to the leg side there. Watch him come around. Oh, Bang. superb That's bit of fielding. A, that Mark is Miller great fielding. And Joshua Razu picks it up. Here we go, Shem Salah back in. Slow ball again. He's hit that a bit better. Straight to him, and he's oh, out. Oh, that's a big wicket. That's a big wicket. He's gone again. It's a, he's, you'd be setting up for the slow ball. So he's going to bowl. And one, he bowled well the other day, Shem Salah. He's been around the traps for a while. I think he's got the big wicket of Andrew Mansali. Oh, it's a huge wicket. He was 75 off 38 the other day. The first delivery, the ball before, he's just shanked, hit off the inside edge a little bit, and it's gone for two. That one, he's hit a bit better, but he's hit it flat. Flatten it straight down the throat of McMillan there, and that's great. Great work by the, the mighty Afate Panthers here, and we've got Eddie Mansali coming in now, batting number four today. Geez, you've been into the old timer too, haven't you? This <laughs> <laughs> the last two commentaries. But Eddie's gone out the battle bowl. <laughs> I know you're old teammates, but yeah, every, you're going to give him something, though. Yeah, every please. time I walk past him, he goes, do you want my autograph yet? Do you want my autograph yet? Yeah, right. So if I keep talking him up, he's going to fail sooner or later. So <laughs> that's, my, that's my theory. Here we've got Shem Salah come, coming back he in is. again after the big wicket of Mansali. In the bowl. Clement that's Tommy, a great that's shot. That's six. That's well, 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 well back. That's one of the biggest we've seen so far. That's a good ball strike. You say he's, a, he's telegraphing the slow ball. He's got to keep that quick Yorker up his sleeve and maybe bring it out. There yeah. it is again. A little, little bit more width and a little bit shorter than Mansali, so he could get under it and really yeah. give it a hoik. And he has given it a hoik. That's a good 85 metre hit out there. That's great shooting that by Clement, Tommy. Here we go. Shem Sala in from the bet, bet barter. Oh, ball slow ball, ball again. Ball he's ball flat batted it down past the bowler. A, f a, f a five year ago, a ten year ago chance for Shem Sal. I'm not sure if that's a chance these days. I will tell you what, might, have to, might be a bit of a dent in the ground there. <laughs> Big fella falling on it. But he's um, he's bowled a good over. He's got the main wicket. 
He's telegraphing that slow ball, though. Yeah, here we go, Eddie Mansali. Where's it? Eddie will like to be going through covers there, so he won't mind this slow ball's outside off stump. And he does exactly that, but he's hit the sweeper out there. That's, and that's not a bad way to get off the strike there for Eddie. He did get in a comical way in that first game of the slow ball that he went to swing and yeah. just put his bat and it popped up to the keeper. So I think he's better just Eddie give himself an opportunity to have a look. And Clement, the slow ball, is like an off spinner again. I reckon he's got to look to go downtown. Oh, Clement, he's, he's the key now. There it he? is. He's gone he downtown. He's got it. It's out of there. That's another big six. Again, just the he's taking his time. He got under the ball. Nice big backswing. Yep. Nice big follow through. That's good shooting. So this end, when the when the Banana Bay Doctor comes up and blows down from as you that last over is from your diagonal left to right of the screen. Yeah, half a bat on it. It's going to go for six. He's bowling slow ball off his. He's, hit, he's got to he's got to change it up. He's got to go wide, fast Yorker or something like that in that situation. Yeah, because he knows the slow balls. He's going to line him up. Yeah, it'd be interesting to see what Captain Joshua Razu does with Shem or does with the next bowler at that end. Really targeted there, and Clement Tommy is he is the Vanuatu Blast hot player at the moment, isn't he? He is. He's uh, he had to be taught. He had to step up, and I'd love to see that first ball again. I reckon he got the benefit of the decision for the LBW. There's yep. Tony Tomato coming on the ball. Man of the match. Uh, Pacific Private Bank man of the match in the last uh, match they played against the Palmer Sh uh, the Ifira Sharks. Well, both batsmen won't mind the pace on. I, I know he's man of the match, but um, and he prefers this end, I guess. But both batsmen would probably prefer the pace on than the yep. pace off. Here we go, Tony coming Big in. chance of a no ball too. Oh, oh it's kept low. And He's got a springy step here, young Tony Tomato. Well, and so is Eddie Mansali. He's given that one hell of a swing. He knows how to chase 130. Chase him in sixes. Yeah, well, this is... It's, been, it's a good field place. They've got the three out on the leg side. I thought it was four, but I think that's a drinks carrier. It might be four. And he is four out. No, no, there's the deep point out here. As uh, Tony Tomato comes in the bowl to Eddie Mansali, bangs it in. That's a good change up. A little slow ball first up and banged it in. That is the fielder out there at uh, Deep Mig. We're just having a drink. Was that uh, Simpson Obed out there? He's just crashed down having a drink. Good start by Tony here. What do you think Clement Tommy's going to do here? Does he need? Is Tony being man of the match? Is he a key bowler that Clement needs to show some little bit of respect there ahead of the run rate? Not that they can take too much chances, but... No, I think you could... You, you can look to take him over mid-off here. He's in straight he's down the ground. Hard, straight to Sam Sala, and he's going to get through for a good single there. So they've got no one behind point on the... I couldn't find out where the extra player is been taken from. There's no... From the keeper to forward of point, there is not one fielder. So anything... Just get a bit of bat on it and run it to third. Man, we'll go for at least two... Possibly three if it's the quicker ball. Yeah, and if he gets a bit straight, I'd probably like to see Eddie just tuck it into square leg there and take it, take two if the old body can get up and down there first no, enough. him. And he's on the slower ball, and Eddie's just waited on it, but he just missed it. It's just kept a little bit low on him, and unfortunately for Eddie, he is on his way. Coming through the replay here, just rolls the fingers over. It's actually good bowling. Yeah, good uh, bowling, smart bowling. Been impressive. Been impressive here, the... Mighty Farday Panthers. Yep, and Melly Taffia Bulls are now three for 57 and in a bit of trouble here. Uh, this is probably young Philip coming in, and Philip will give it a clean hit as well. Yeah, but you got to go back to that that decision when um, they'll two for one the Mighty Farday Panthers and give those part timers a go. I was I was going back to the, I was going back to the umpires' decision. We're going yeah. that far back. Yeah, well the umpires' decision, but. Chasing that score is always going to be tough with the the bowling lineup they've got. The, the bowling well. I think the taxi to Joshua Razu and the mighty Afade Panthers here in the in the bet Barter has been on point. He has got it right. Simpson Obed has been a key starting starting he for has. that end. Even though he went for a few runs in his second over today, but he's got the key wicket both times. He has he has and he's been been doing a good job of the first over of the day. Here we go, Tony coming in from the Lagoon end. 
down wide. leg. A bit of an effort. Ball's gone down leg side, and that is a wide. Ball taken by Jared Allen. He's looked good behind the stumps. He is. And looks, it looks, he just gets some good vibe around the team, doesn't he? He's good in the warm-ups. Gets them going. Gets them active. Good talk out there. And I think the key, the Wes, the Razus, and the Jareds, the three key guys... Uh, are just leading this team around the park nicely, and they could be three from three here shortly. And what's been well is the the lesser players like Tony Tomato and Shamsala have really stepped up and played a role in the team. That's a good slow ball. Oh, he wasn't ready for the corn ball. Oh. And he gets it through. They all backed up there. There was going to be an overthrow <laughs> then. Yeah, but those guys who are just on the fringe of the squad or just out of the squad, you need those guys to step up. Yeah, they have really stepped up in the Mighty Fado Panthers team here. Brett Wright coach. There's never a Brett Wright coach team that doesn't come out prepared. I think, well, with Brett Wright's wrestling skills, MMA <laughs> skills, I think they're a bit <laughs> petrified to upset him. So <laughs> they make sure they perform. I'm, the, I'm scared of him, especially after a few tussles as uh, Tony Tomata comes in the bowl to Clement Tommy. Tucked him in the leg side. They'll look for two, but there's no two there. That's just one. That's good bowling. Giving him no room because the shots over mid-off when you bat at this end is generally the way to go where Razu was taking them, and he ha he's given them no room. Yeah, and we're three for... Made him hit into the, into the banana by the doctor. Yeah, we're three for 60 or five here. This next over will be the key, who they bowl. It would have to be a change if you couldn't see Shem Sala coming on and bowling his off-pace balls. It he could be dangerous. Like he is, though. I think this is dangerous to bowl him again with Clement Tommy out there. Well, if he does bowl again, he's got to he's got to use his faster ball. You can't telegraph the. He's got to bowl the, yeah. the maybe the Clement Tommy the wide Yorker, make him try to drag it from outside that wide of off stump. Well, Clement Tommy's just got to sit back, wait for this, or prepare for the slower ball, and then react if it's a quicker yes. ball, and. So. And the breeze has just dropped down here, but it won't matter. He's hit a few good ones, and yeah. it won't stop him. He'll hit him so 80 I'll metres. Be, I'll be shaping up for slow. He's got a bowl. The wide Yorker or the inside leg stump Yorker. Yeah, he's got the inside leg side stump Yorker, and he should have caught that. The fielder was sleeping out there. That should have been a wicket. That should have been out. He's hung back. Oh, do you think he's sleeping on the boundary? Let's look at the replay. I think it bounced a bit short of him, but he could have made oh, a better no. effort. That's a well hit. That's a melly flick if I've ever seen one. Oh, he, he didn't have far to go. I'm not sure what to say. No, I was, I was, he was a bit dancing and smiling to the crowd before. So I don't think he was quite switched on. He hasn't. It's Kenny Tari there, great fellow. He hasn't been been training a lot, so he's probably a little bit lacking in confidence, poor fella. Yeah, he's a good outfielder though. So Clement and Tommy, he's hit a boundary here. He's gonna be. He'll have his tail up here. He'll be looking for this slow ball, and I think he'll go straight. But he would love to go straight down the ground. He bowled the right ball then. It was the faster uh, inside in leg the, into the Yorker. Leaks. Yeah. So he's got that and he's got the wide, wide Yorker. Let's see I what think. he does That's now. He's got a bowl. Slow ball and he's flicked at the mid wicket again. Similar shot but better feeling by Joshua Razu there. But what Tari could have done in that feeling is they stopped it for four. <laughs> I'll get into him because he's, he's come does a lot of air conditioning work in my office and his last couple of invoices have been astronomical. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm trying to get my own back here now. Here we go, Shem Salah. Shem Salah's known for a no ball here, so he doesn't want to do this when the game's in the balance. And Tommy's... Oh, we've got Philip on strike he's now. He's going to swing hard. Nah, it's good bowling, see. Bowling the slow ball to Philip because he's just got one pace hands. It's going to be hard. It's perfect. It's going to be hard for him to lay bat on him here. Well, Philip needs to know his job. There's no one with no one on the offside there. He just needs to get bat on ball, and he's got a single. And get Clement... Tommy has got to face majority of the balls to go here. He's so like hitting everything for six if he gets on strike as Shem is in, into Philip. He's hit yeah, on the body. They'll get the easy single. Yeah, and that's good running by Clement, Tommy there. And look, Philip didn't do anything wrong there. He's got a bit of bat on it and they've got a single. So he did everything he should do. But we've got 26 balls to go. Clement Tommy needs to face 20 of them if they want a chance of winning. He does. What's the equation? I, well, since I've been to school. Oh, 60, 64. 60. 64 off. Four and a bit. So we're only at 15. It's not undoable. This has got to be four or six, I think. And that's six. No, oh, could be short of Razu. Oh. oh, just See him, but he didn't. He didn't hit it very well, but he's got it in between the fielders with his miss hit, and it's bounced a bit short of Razu, and then it's beat Maki, who did some great fielding before, and it's got through to the boundary. Uh, look, if come on, Tommy can finish with a four or six here, it's still game on. It's done exactly what he needs to do. 
What's Shem Sala do? It's got to be paced on Yorker, wide of the yeah. off stump. It's got to be the <laughs> market trying to fill that outside the fence. I think it's got to be Yorker here. Comes in the bowl. I like the keeper up. It's in the same gap again. There's four more. So that's good batting. They're not out of this yet by any stretch of the imagination. Well, great batting, Clement Tommy. He's just sat back, waited for that slow ball again. He's cleared the front leg and he's pulled it straight into the gap. I really like the way he's hitting the ball. He didn't hit it that well, but he's found the gap. I'll tell you what, it's a good bit of feeling by that young fellow there. What was that? He's Sign picked him it up. up beautifully. Sign him up on the, on the, <laughs> the Afira Sharks. We'll take him at the Afira Sharks. Fantastic. Great technique. Hands out in front. Jamie Siddons would have been proud of that. Straight arm to bend arm. Well, we got 14 off today. It takes us through to three for 74. We're six gone. Look, they're on track. It's it's Clement Tommy, isn't it? Yeah, I would. Geez, I would think about giving Razu a little bowl here, the off here, and make him hit into the dock darts. Come up a bit now, and you could maybe get get a buy a wicket by caught it, caught out in the deep. Same here, but Tony's bowl well. Tony Tamara's bowl really good first over. Tony's Tony's bowl well. Um, Phillips got a job to do here. If it's a bad ball, he's got to swing to the trees. If it's a good ball, he's got to get bat on ball. If anything on the leg side, he's got a single at least, possibly two. And Here we go, Tony in from the lagoon end. They've got five in the ring here. I'm not sure why they've got five in the ring. That's smart batting. Yeah, well they've done got, for Philip. You've got to keep the fielder back. He's done that a couple of times, Razu. He's, kept, he's pulled a fielder up when there's no need. And again, they've got one, two, three, five inside the ring. Ah, oh, he's putting mid off back now. That was smart. Wondering where so mid off's gone back. You got four back on the leg side with a short fine leg and mid off's back. So anything through the offside we four could give himself a bit of room. Tomato Tomato's got to cramp him up here. He's getting that's that straight over the bowls. Shot. That's a great shot. That has gone miles. That's one of the biggest we've seen today. 70, that's gotta be comfortably 90, 90 meters. That's a great swing of the bat. Fantastic shooting by Clement Tommy. Well, so I would have brought the spinner on. He didn't, he didn't like the spin. Here we go. The captain's coming over to Tony now. He knows they're under pressure. He's gone seven off two balls here. And it's the key. Philip getting off strike from yep. the first delivery. He's gone six a second ball. Great what's, shout there, mate. What's Tony got to do? And what's Clement Tommy looking for? That's just that's a great shot. Yeah. Um. I don't mind the slow ball. Probably more into the deck and make him, make him hit it square. you got... Deep backward square, deep forward square, and deep mid wicker. So if he bowls a bit shorter into the body, waist height, chest height, you can only hit it out to those three fielders into yep. the breeze. So that's what we're looking to do. There's slow ball, short ball. But he's hit it. It's nearly a replay. He hasn't hit it quite as well. He's dragged it to mid on there, and that takes him through to 50, and that's very well batted. Very, very well batted by Clement Tommy. And let's hope he keeps going on here for the next three overs and gives us a game on. Yeah, good young player. 21. He's going really well. This is what he needs. Something like this to give him a really kick start and give him that yep. belief that he's actually out the, good out enough. Of Peter Duffy stable down in Melbourne. Peter Duffy, men's own cricket club, classic bats. He fixes them, he uses them, he does it all. Clement Tommy. Men's own boys will be on the edge of the seat watching this. Uh, we need Philip off strike here. So either boundary or single we want to see for him. It's gone oh, leg it's side. We've got a wide, and he'll take that as well. They're all runs here. Um, and look, Philip has probably changed the way he batted from we saw him on Thursday and then this morning. He's not doing the big shot. I think he knows his role here to get on, yep. get Clement Tommy yep. on strike. Yep, that's what I reckon. I definitely would have tried to Razu this thing because Tommy looks like he's hitting anything with pace on it. He's looking unstoppable. He didn't look so good against the offie before. Be interesting to who they bowl at the other end. Well, that's what they, they could have kept West. Tony Tomato for back in the back end and got rid of Razu for one over there. But is he in the bowl now? Has Philip on strike. He's hit on the body. That's high. Could be run out non-strike as him, but he hasn't thrown. Played and they've got to the single. And again, Philip's done the right thing. He's got bat or body on the ball, and he's run hard, and he's got through to the other end. And yeah, he's, he's missed the thigh pad, <laughs> and he's grimacing with pain. I think we're a bit short on thigh pads in the Millie Taffia team there. And not, a, not a very thick leg there. Here we go. This is a match where we want, to, we want to see Clement Tommy on strike here. Let's see what he wants to do. The wind's just picked up a little bit. Hopefully yeah, they, he's noticed that. That lifted him up just on the front of the thighs. He, Tomato comes in the bowl. We're still watching the replay. Just down leg down side, side Come on, Rick. Make sure we get the action, mate. They get those replays run too long. And I think that's the pressure. He's trying to bowl into the legs there. He's slow ball. Bowling into the legs. He's dragged it down leg side there. And, and come on, Tommy, with the pressure of the six early in the over, he's forced him to make a mistake. He and he's Damon. taken a free run. He has, Damon. He's, he's looked good. There's a shadow start creeping across the pitch. It is getting quite...
Dark in out 4:20 p.m. in the afternoon. There's t Tony Tomato in the bowl. Clement Thomas used his feet. He's hit it. This is up here. This is a chance. It's right into the sun though, and he's got it. And he's got oh, and it. That could that's be what we talk. Game over. That's what he had to do. Bowl that. Sh bowl that slow ball into the hip area where he had to hit. Make it. him hit it square. He had to hit it to those three fielders out square. So that's a really good tactic, and it was really good. Good hitting, good striking from Clement Tommy then. Very impressive knock from the young man. Wasn't able to bring his team home. Well, everything but gave he, him a chance. Everything he hit well was a little bit straighter. That in ball into the pitch as we watched the replay. Into the pitch makes him drag a little bit squarer. Yeah, it's, well, it's just the shorter delivery there. And Tony's done it again with another wicket. He probably, the, you're right, well, mid off back, he probably could have tried to hit that straight down the ground again. Probably went across it just slightly, but he played a really good knock, the young fella. Well, the, the role changes for Philip now. He's the key batsman here, and we know he can hit the boundary. I think he just needs to get up the other end for the next bowler here. Any bat on ball, and it should be a single. Tony coming in. It's lounge leg side. Oh, and, a great take by the keeper. will stop. He's got a run out chance, oh. and he's missed it. Will they come back for two? Maybe shouldn't have thrown it. But the backing up from Shem Saleh should have been in the 30-meter circle to stop that second. Well, I think you've got to be excited there. He's just gone. He, the guy's out. I can throw the stumps down, but he's given away two runs and not a bad bad oh, attempt. They have a great running from the Millie Tafia guys. Yeah, yeah. You, sh you should be allowed to have a ping at the stumps. The fielding, he sat on the boundary edge there. If he should have been aware and ran into the 30-metre circle and stopped that. So, but all the runs are counting for Millie Tafia Bulls right. now. I'm going to see uh, Philip get on strike at the other end after this one. Non-striker's ready to roll. Short ball. He's dragged it down behind square, but there's a fielder out there. Oh, it's misfielder, though. Field. Will he come back for two? They're coming back. Easy and two. Philip is super fast, and he's going to take another two there. He could have kept the strike, though. And they've taken 16 off the over, but 16 was with Clement there. And that's taken him through to nugget him at 90 after seven overs. Four for 90 after seven overs. Three overs left, 40 but, runs. But they're hitting two overs out of the three with the, with banana, the banana Bay Doctor. Oh, look, if Mansali's still in there, if Clement's still in there, they're a big chance of running down this 130. And it, and it is Razu. And it is Razu. The captain. He's coming on to take the glory at the end when the game's nearly over. Oh, he's, oh I don't know. He's, <laughs> he's bowling with, hitting with the breeze. Bowling his cheeky little offies. But he, he, he actually bowls them okay. Nono Chili. Well, there's one thing about the Melly guys, and Nono Chili is from Melly. They will give it a swing, and they will do the Melly flick or go the Melly cow corner. The Nono plays in under 19s. He's good cricket. He's really competitive. He's one of our top uh, men's beach volleyball players too. So coming he's a multi-skilled guy. Coming out of the Rave Chilia School of Cricket at, at Melly. Here we go. Razu in the bowl from the Bet Bada Bellevue end. Outside off. And he does drag a leg side, and they He's could right. get a boundary here. That ball's going to race away. I think that's away. going to be four. It oh, is. Oh, it's a good effort there, and that's a great start from Nono Chilia. He's got a bit straight middle on the leg, maybe there. He's really got top. Let's have a look at what line he's bowled there. He's come over the wicket. Oh, I still like around the wicket here and just push it across and make him hit across that angle. Well, he's pitched it up. It's, it's you miss, I hit, and he's taken the inside edge, and he's got away for a boundary there. It's a great start by Nono Chilia. He's not on the boundary edge here, so he's come in the bowl. No, nice and wide good pushes out there, and that's great batting by Chilia, and he gets Philippe on strike there. I like that bowling too. He put it down in the wicket, made him wait for it outside of stump. You know, they, a lot of the guys, when you T10 cricket, you probably want to favour the leg side for the big sixer. I don't, I don't mind that though. A little, a little well bit bowled. of a little yeah, bit good of batting. Well bowled, good batting. I thought a little bit of pace on he gets a pass Selwyn there. He gets a couple. Razu in again. Outside off. And that's a big swing. Has he got the gap? Oh, it's oh. a great effort. It's gone for four. Did it go for four or six? I don't know. Let's have a look at the replay here. Maki has got horizontal one-handed there. He just needed it to stick. It was a superb effort I'm, out there, I'm watching Maki and not the boundary. Oh, well, we've lost, lost our replay. replay. That was a sensational bit of feel. Here we here go. it comes out there. It's, it's four. It's four. four. It's definitely four. There's a great effort there. There's a good shot from Philip. Very good shot from Philip. And that's what he's going to do. And that's what he needs to do here. I think mid-wicket can go back on the circle here, though. He's gone again. That's he's gone straight six, up. Uh, that's six that's with out the wind. of there. That's out of there. The offy bowling at this end. 
And it's game Always on asking here. Asking for danger. He's got to bowl around the wicket here. And he's got to try to angle across. He make him hit across his angle, I think. Well, he's got to bowl flatter. He can't let Philip get under the no. ball and get any height underneath the ball. And that Banana Bay doctor is going to take it over the Bet Barter sign down the ground. So yeah. great batting by the Melly Taffy here. Tail. No, no, Chile got a, a boundary at the start of the over, and he's got on, got his partner on strike, That's and it. he's just gone four six, and it's game on, Razu. Hey, where's that mid wicket? He can go on the boundary. He's going to go again. He's gone again. He's missed it. That and that's over, six he? again. And that's six again. And there's a big cheer from the crowd here. And that's over the Bet Barter over, sign out of the park. Out of the ground. So it's game on. No one told the two in the middle of the game was over. It is game on. They're probably didn't have to go for the spare ball. You're not going to get that one in a hurry. Well, we're 21 off this over. We've still got a delivery to go there. You called it Razu bowling from the Bet Barter Bellevue end there. End, and the boys are hitting with the wind and and little Nono Chili has done the right job. He's got a boundary, then he's got his mate on strike and Phillips just gone bang, 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 4-6-6 six, six, and we're 4 for 111 and we're looking for a, for a ball. The, boys... uh, the umpire's the umpire's got a ball there. We just need the few players, players to come back. To come from... back. The ball's in. Let's go. The game on. And it's game on. We're down to under 10 and over here. Uh, well, I'd like to probably see if Philip can't get a boundary. I want to see. Well, Philip, no, no, Chile has shown his cricket awareness. He's likely yes. to get a single if he does, if he is on strike at the end of this ball. Watch these boys go for the big shot, or they are going to run super so hard between the wickets here. So, said, I would have bowled Razu the other end and maybe had Tony Tamara at this end. He's got a bowl. He's got to change something up here. Oh, he's got the old man cap. I, th I, I, I don't think it was a man cap. I no, think no. he's been thrown by the 4 6 6 from Philip. I here. think it's a good tactic. Change it up. Change it. Make him think about it. He's gone again. He's tossed it up. It's full toss. It's out. It's he's... catchable. It's catchable. McMillan's under it. Yeah, he's got it. Oh. He's got a yeah. <laughs> cheeky full toss. It was in the slot. He could have put it out of there. Uh, it was well. in those. Oh. Oh, wrong replay, yeah, wrong replay, wrong yeah. replay. That's the old false start. Philip had to go. He did exactly the right thing. Has he done it? The old false start is great tactic. Make him wait a bit longer, yeah. get a bit more anxious. But what a great game this has turned out to be. We thought when Matau Tava left. Here's a replay, sorry. Ooh, Full wide. toss. The wide Yorker, that was a good boy. Make him drag it. i tell you what, McMillan. Mark McMillan has fielded brilliantly out there standing in the field he's he's dived and stopped a boundary he's dived and nearly taken a speculator on the boundary he's now taken a key catch of what was under pressure there we've gone for 21 off that over we're eight overs down and we're 111 Might we need 20 off two overs i'm not sure if they got the depth in the in the field and i think the batsmen have crossed so we don't have nano chili on strike oh, gotta take a breath don't i <laughs> It's all happening. Oh. Oh, Bill Laurie says that, doesn't he? It's all happening here at the VCG. Oh, do you go back to well, the ball. Do you go back to the <laughs> second or third over when Mensali bowls Chilia, Nono Chilia, oh, and he and he doesn't bowl his best bowler, and then the and then Razu gets a bit of a roll on with Wes, and now we're 19 runs, and we've got Wes to come in and bowl an old over. Wes. He's got Kenny Tari up his sleeve for an over. Well, does he does he bowl off in the last over down breeze? That's a, go well, that's a, a big call. That's a big call. That's a big, big call. As the shadows start creeping across the field now, very late in the day, the sun in winter time usually goes down just before 5 o'clock. We're coming up to 4.30 local time. That's how you can, you can get the batsman's number there. Rival Chile. Uh, Godfrey's on strike. Uh, Godfrey can hit a ball. I'll tell you, he's blocked it and got him on strike. He's blocked it past the ball. He's got a single, and that's a great effort there. They just need to have a run off every ball, no matter what it is. They can't afford a dot ball. They may get a couple of extras here, and if they can get the spin coming and hit with the wind with the spin in the oh. last over, they have a big chance. It's a, that's the thing, yeah. Last over with the breeze or three overs. In the West coming in there. again from Lagoon End. It's on the stumps off pace. Oh, he's bowling. He just swung a bit too early. The off pace did it, and Nano Chilia is on his way, and he is running off like they do in the under 19s. Uh, well bowled by Wes. Here it comes in again. The new young dog, uh, middle stump, bowling. hits Great the bowling. Bet Barter sign there, and that is six down off 112. And we have Rival Samson coming in. Possibly. 
I'm not sure. Would you put Watu in with the big long leaves? I know it's not him, oh, but yeah, I know. But he's he Watu is. No, long leaves. You just he, need that fluke of a boundary. He's picked. He's got his technique from French cricket. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. Where's in again? It's off pace. He's out of there. Well, and that's six. That's out of there. Oh, this is game on. Game on. I'm loving this. Rival Simpson. Samson. I think they put Godfrey in in front of him, and he's Godfrey's got off strike. Raval Sampson's come in next one, and he's done the melly sweep and hit it straight down the he, ground. He's a young fella, did that amazing bit six. of fielding before too. He's a talent. Who's balance. this kid? I haven't seen him much of him before. I think it'll be pace off delivery here from Wes. Comes in from the lagoon end. It is pace off. Well, ball, smart bowling. It is smart bowling, but he just needs to wait for it. He just bat on ball is the key here. He's taken seven. They've got seven off the over. They only need another 13 runs. They just need bat on ball, get it out there and run hard between the wickets. They just need to have a quick chat, these guys. But I guess if you can hit sixes, you might as well do it in style. Well, I'll tell you what, I wish I'll get a ball like that. It's pretty good for young fellas. Yeah, Wes coming in, Lagoon end. It's off pace, and he's dragged it leg side into the gap, and this could be four. Could be four. It's five. It's four. Oh, that's great batting. Great batting. Wow. This fight is still on. It's unbelievable scenes down here at the VCG. It's great. He's great. That's a great shot. Great batting. Super batting. He's coming here to 6'4". Why, he, why is he batting so low? I've got a tip for you guys. If you're Melly Tafia, Patrick Matatavi, you're batting six. Raval yeah. Sampson, you're, up, up there. you're in the opening of the batting next week, mate. This is great stuff here, and it's game on. Pressure's on Wes. He'll take pace off again, even though I think he probably should go wide, oh, yeah. wide, faster ball. Oh, he's pushed in the offside. He's past blocking him for four nearly. No, he's got to keep the strike. He's got to keep the strike. Really well timed there. What was Godfrey looking for two there? That, that was is a the suicide end of the over. run. You wouldn't want to... I'm super excited Whoa. to watch this last over. We need nine, eight to win. Who are they going to bowl? They can't bowl Razu with, with the wind behind the batsman, can they? Razu's... Arms crossed. He's looking around the pitch for someone He's to bowl. Can someone bowl for me, please? And we've got a runner out to the batsman. What is he saying? It's one, what? one boundary. They, they want the scoreboard up to date. Yeah, they, they're getting up to date. There's Auntie Annie out there with the scoreboard. We're six for 123. And Melly Taffy has just showed the depth they've got in their batting. And this is why they're, they're favourites in the competition. Here they well, are. They don't know who to bowl here. They're all question marks. I don't think anyone wants to bowl. This is the most most discussion I've seen in a long time. They've bowled out. They've bowled out. Time. Simpson, no time is we'll beat them. It's Rose's probably got to do it. It's hard to bring someone. No, the we've got Kendi. Is it Kendi? Kendi Kenneth. This is a big risk. Whoa. Big risk. These boys all like the pace on. One four one six. I'll tell you what, the last over. Well, two four, with two fours, we don't need a six. Yeah, one, or early on, I meant so one four or a six early on. It's, yeah. Yeah, they need some dot balls, no no balls or no wides. And the keeper should be up the stumps. Keeper should be up. No no balls, no wides. It's getting dark. The clouds have gone over the pitch now. We, talk me through this. We have a fine leg. What what is Razu thinking? I'm not sure. I don't know. He's seen him yet. It's Tony. He's having a lazy drink down there. We've got, Razu hasn't we've seen got no him. No third. We've got no one near third man at all. We've got a wide point, or wide gully. Here we go. Third man's going back now. But he's got to be in the ring. They've only got four in the ring. They've got leg side. They've got four back from fine leg. One, two, three, four. I tell you what, you wouldn't mind the guys on the offside in your front row, would you? I'll tell you <laughs> what. This, uh, this, this is fresh on. Kenny hasn't this. bowled in the tournament here. Kendi Kenneth. I'm not sure he's had a good warm up. Long time. This is pressure. Used to be a 100 meter uh, running champion. It's full toss and he's pulled it leg Not side. No ball. Oh, it's can't a misfield. Two. Can't let him get for he's got to run back. He's got to uh, go for two. No, it's going to be overthrows. That's out. No, that is, that's not out. out. Oh! You've given him. It saved the run though, but the main man's all shot. It's not going to. I don't think that's a big play in the. In the oh, let's look at a replay. I'm with Melly Taffy here. I'm calling that not out. But what would I know? Let's have a look here. Kendi Kenneth comes in the bowl. Full toss. Is that over the. Over the. No, Over just, the waist. Un, just under, I think. Kenny Tarry not having a great day in the field. Little misfield. But maybe that was field. his tactic, was for the run out. Boom, oh, straight back to Kendi. Looked like he was in. I think I'm with you there, Domo. Tough to call. But the key guy is on strike. 
Uh, he's under the pump. Kenny Tari's missed two out in. He's in the hot spot. Uh, deep square. I reckon I'll be changing the field if I was the captain. Get him out of there. <laughs> and it's got dark. It's got dark real, real quick here. You probably can't see it on your screen, but it's dark. At 4.35. The sun goes behind the big hill here in Port Villa. Ooh, lots of VCG. Lots of pressure on the, uh, Joshua Razu, captain here. We're defending seven off five balls. If the next one either goes for a tour or a boundary, big trouble here. Kendi Kenneth coming in. Um, on position. the stumps. He's, He's hit a great it. shot. The wears a good bit of fielding that. It's a good bit of fielding that. That's a single, and you got the new man on strike, which is Darren Wartu. And I said he's had his technique from French cricket, but, well, but under the new tutelage of Simon Keane, he's got big levers. He's hitting with the wind. He's just going to go. He has to. Hit, has to go. He has to. Has to go. I don't know. Get bat on balls. Only two balls, and the young fella will hit a boundary. I think he's smoking them. Oh, he's hit for sick. No, he's not. He's hit straight down. Oh, Mark competition. has come in. Oh. oh, he's dropped it. Oh, he's thrown it in. He's got. Oh, he's dropped, oh, it. dropped he's, it. Oh, it's amazing. Oh, to my trigger goodness. There. Oh, my God. They've nearly pulled off the miracle. Let's, let's, let's talk you through this one on the replay. Kendy comes in. He's done the melee flick. That's uh, two. He's yeah, gone sorry. the melee flick. He, uh, Marky has gone to catch the ball. He's juggled it. Over the boundary, he's, he's thrown he's it back in. in. Perfect fielding, that's unbelievable. Where's his dive for the ball? Gets a hand to it, he's got gets it. two oh, hands to it, and he's it. just tr hits the palm of his hand. That oh, was out but, if he's taken and that. And we are back would have been live out. now. Oh my goodness. He's and they're going to run hard here. They'll only get the one, though, I would think. Oh, it's a misfield, and it's on. It's on, and they're back for two. McMillan Mackey has been brilliant there. We could be in for a tie. Oh, I don't know what's happening. Don't we know, are 127. No idea, I've lost it. Well, I'll tell you what it is. We've got four to win off three deliveries is what we've done. This game is outstanding. The, they, Vanuatu, they the Vanuatu Blast is on. The and bet bar of Vanuatu Blast, it does not get any better. The crowd's up. The players are all up. They're all oh. yelling out. There's some atmosphere here. And I see the fielders on mid-wicket are standing five metres in, inside the boundary. He should be on the boundary. Kendi coming in. It's a wide ball. It's that's a great six. shot. That's game set that's match. Game over. Mele Tafia got back in this. And they're back in the competition. What a win. Oh, what I'm, a win. I'm not sure what the runner said to the guys in the middle, but he obviously said hit boundaries. But what a fantastic game of cricket. And, mate, that could give them momentum as the, the big guns haven't fired for them today. And it's the other guys. You caught it. What to? The French cricket was out the way. That's Simon King Boom. batting coaching that. Well done, Simon Keane. Well, he's number, normally a number 11 batsman. He's up the order a little bit for them long levers. Simon Keane, we're really up with the back lift, the follow through, down on one knee, solid base, and he's just banged it. Mate, it's great for the competition. We've got two teams on one win, one team with two wins. wins. Oh. End of the first round uh, next week. Mate, if that doesn't bring the crowds back and people around the world watching... Showing what some fantastic cricket we've got here in Vanuatu and in associate cricket. Fantastic. And I'll tell you what. Well, are we going to get an ambulance down here, mate? I need some oxygen. And I'm not even playing. <laughs> there's been some outstanding feeling, outstanding running between the wickets, outstanding batting, outstanding bowling. And it, and it comes down to a four-wicket win by the Melly Tafia Bulls with two balls to go, chasing 130 in a 10-over game. Well, Damo, I think we need to breathe, though. We're going to try to get some... The crowd's on fire there. They're dancing. The tunes are on. It's going to be a good night here in the Holiday Inn uh, hospitality tent. No doubt I'll be down there. He'll be down there, Damo. We'll probably bring you some play of the match ceremonies in the next uh, 10 minutes, so stay tuned. I'll get the ceremony presentation area set up, and we'll um, have talk to some players, I think, Damo. And then we'll see you in the Holiday Inn tent in the Bed Barter Vanuatu Blast. It is. Great days, and we'll see. 